So hi guys and welcome back. Today we will check out the Quanum QE5822 video transmitter, 5.8 GHz video transmitter. We will start with an unboxing of this nice kit. Then we will uh, measure its weight, its dimensions, the temperature it develops when it's powered on. And finally we will measure its RF power. So let's first take a look at the unboxing, at the manual here. So as you can see, that's a 5.8 GHz wireless video transmitter. So you can see a uh, basic uh, uh, data here. You can stop the video if you want to take a closer look. What is important is that it's a race band receiver, which you can see here. So it comes with all five bands with eight channels each. And here you can see, see this nice diagram uh, of the transmitter itself. You can see that it has a push button control and an onboard microphone. And here on the bottom you can see it also has a 5 volts out which means it can power your board cam with 5 volts uh, and it accepts a wide input range of 7 to 20 volts. So what else do we have in the box here? Let's take a closer look. This comes with your usual rubber ducky antenna. Then here we have a nice cable, which plugs into the transmitter here with this white connector. Uh, this red GSD connector is for providing power. And here at this uh, servo connector, you have the uh, video input and also uh, red and uh, uh, brown in this case. Uh, 5 volts for supporting your board cam. And here is the video transmitter itself. I will try to give you a close up here. Here we go. You can see that it's a pretty standard layout. As you can see here, have here the microphone, the push button controller, and here with these LEDs, which is pretty nice, it will show you which band and which channel you are on. On the other side, we again have some information about this. Uh, on this heatsink here. So as I said, that's the Quanum Elite QE582, uh, 5.8 gigahertz wireless video transmitter. And here you can again see the pin out and pin in of this video transmitter. Another interesting feature of this video transmitter is that it actually supports both 25 and uh, 200 milliwatts. Uh, this is not done by a switch or anything, but actually it is a bit of a more of a permanent uh, thing because actually you have to cut this little wire here, which you can see at the tip of my finger here. And what, once you cut it, this is actually a 200 milliwatts uh, transmitter. And if you leave it as it is, which I will do for my review today, it is a 25 milliwatt transmitter. This is something which could be nicer, but actually it is absolutely no problem to install a micro switch here so that you can set it yourself. And well, given the low price of this video transmitter, it's still a nice thing to be able to decide whether you want to run it at 25 milliwatts or at 200 milliwatts. So now let's take a look at the weight of this. And as we can see, this comes in at si slightly above 7 grams, 7.3 grams. The dimensions of it were already given on the product sheet, but let's verify that. So we have here a width of about 22 millimeters a length of about 31 millimeters or let's see 40 millimeters with this connector here and at its widest point here at the connector we have a width of about 8 millimeters here. So now we left that running for around 10 minutes on our bench here and we are now ready to measure the temperature of it. Uh, from what I can feel from my fingers, it isn't really getting hot. We will measure the temperature here at the heatsink, because that is usually the hottest part of it. And let's see, it is at about 50 degrees, as you can see here at the heatsink. 
still heating up a bit 52 degrees but it is a uh, pretty constant here at 52 degrees so it doesn't get any hotter which is well from what i know pretty okay pretty normal so yeah okay that i missed it and we are back here yeah, around 50 degrees so this is usually nothing to worry about so we are now ready to do the uh, RF power measurement, as you can see here. And we will here simply go through all the bands and all the channels and measure its power. And of course, you don't need to watch the whole video. I will also have this linked as a separate table so you can see it all at one glance. We will start here. Uh, measuring its output power with the band F so that is what they call this here you can see it here uh, it's the first one here band F channel 1 gives us power of 26 milliwatts so we are staying at uh, band F here channel 2 is 25 milliwatts channel 3 23 milliwatts, channel 4 22 milliwatts, channel 5 is 21 22 milliwatts, channel 6 is 21 milliwatts, channel 7 is 20 milliwatts and channel 8 of band F is at close to 20 milliwatts. We are switching now to the band E. Channel 1 of band E is at 27 milliwatts, channel 2 is 28 milliwatts, channel 3 is 29 milliwatts, channel 4 is 29 milliwatts, channel 5 gets us to 19 milliwatts, down to 19 milliwatts, uh, channel 5, sorry, that is the channel 6 is 19 milliwatts. Channel 7 is 19 milliwatts and channel 8 is also 19 milliwatts. We will now switch to the uh, band A. Channel 1 of band A is at 20 milliwatts. Channel 2 is at 20 milliwatts. Channel 3 at 21 milliwatts. Channel 4 at 22 milliwatts channel 5 at 23, channel 6 at 24, channel 7 at 25 and channel 8 of band A is at close to 27 milliwatt. We will now switch to the band R. Channel 1 of band R is 29 milliwatts channel 2 27, channel 3 25, channel 4 24, channel 5 is at 22, channel 6 at 20, channel 7 is at 19 and channel 8 is also at 19. Now we will switch to the last band which is called the band B here. Channel 1 of band B is at 25, channel 2 at 25, channel 3 at 24, channel 4 at 22, channel 5 at 22, channel 6 at 21, channel 7 at 20 and channel 8 is at 20 as well. So we went through all the channels here and did the complete set of RF power measurements and which are also linked right now. So this basically concludes our review of this video transmitter. We can say that it, yes, uh, sometimes it gives you even more than the promised 25 milliwatts. Sometimes it's a bit below that, but well, it fully gives you what it promises. It's a really, uh, lightweight small 25 milliwatts transmitter which comes with a nice push button control and also has an included microphone 
So I will have all the links in the description. I hope you liked this review. If you liked it, please leave a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and I'm looking forward to see you next time.